At this time, the chair recognizes Councilwoman Keona Sanchez, who presented a resolution recognizing and honoring the Salvation Army with Reverend Camardi and Lieutenant Colonel Banfield and those accompanying them. Please join the Councilwoman at the podium. And joining the Councilwoman, we have Councilman O, Councilman Don, and Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Good morning, folks. I want to uh, take a moment to uh, personally acknowledge uh, my joining officially the, the Army, which is the Salvation Army. As many of you know, when uh, Hurricane Irma and Maria hit Puerto Rico, many of us here and many of, of folks here in this room uh, rallied together to, to help Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. I have always been a supporter of the Salvation Army. Reverend Bonnie Kamada, who joins us every weekend, every week, uh, is in D.C. lobbying because this is National Salvation Army Week in Washington, D.C., so she's doing what she does every day, which is be a champion for the Army. But in all of the years that I've supported the Salvation Army, never realizing the tremendous impact of the hard work that has to be done during these natural disasters. And over the last uh, year, we have worked with them both here in, the, in Philadelphia, transitioning families, um, but the work that they are doing in Puerto Rico through their offices, through their food distribution network, it is amazing. And this Monday, I had an opportunity to join them at their annual luncheon. Um, and I can t personally say to you that, that it, not only are they doing God's work, but they're doing work under tough conditions and bringing spiritual relief, uh, food, nourishment, um, and hope to sometimes when people feel the most hopeless. And uh, as, as someone from, from Puerto Rico, I'm internally, eternally grateful for the work that they are doing and very, very happy that here in Philadelphia, we have such a good group of the Salvation Army leadership. And so with that, as part of this National um, Salvation Army Week, the second week of May, which was first declared by President Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1954, where he was quoted as saying, among Americans, the Salvation Army has long been a symbol of wholehearted dedication to the cause of human brotherhood and sisterhood. Their work has been a constant reminder to us all that each of us is neighbor and kin to all Americans, given freely of themselves the men and women of the Salvation Army have won the respect of us all. And whereas founded in London, England in 1865, the Salvation Army has represented hope to millions of people in need worldwide for more than 150 years. The Salvation Army is one of the world's largest and oldest providers of social services, currently existing in 128 countries, with operations in the United States originating in Philadelphia since 1879. It continues its compassionate tradition of helping others where there is poverty, hunger, disease, destitution, and spiritual need, and... Whereas the Salvation Army's Emergency Disaster Services provides basic needs and services to victims of disaster, while also assisting first responders, serving one to two million Americans in dozens of response efforts nationwide, Emergency Disaster Services is often one of the first on the scene to aid emergency response efforts by providing food, shelter, clothing, and spiritual comfort. Through its valuable partnership with the City of Philadelphia, the Salvation Army's Emergency Disaster Services is proud to support local first responders and disaster survivors in more than 250 annual responses in times of disaster or crisis. Most recently, the Salvation Army played a critical role in transporting goods and assisting the victims of Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico as they collaborated with UNIDAS PAPR to bring relief efforts to the island and 
This, whereas the Salvation Army continually strives to be a beacon of hope for thousands of individuals and families throughout the greater Philadelphia, enriching and transforming lives of those in the greatest of need. Over the past year, the Salvation Army Greater Philadelphia provided more than 250,000 meals to those facing the threat of hunger, over 250,000 collective nights of shelter to homeless individuals and families, more than 30,000 local individuals with case management support and linkage to resources to help them in times of crisis, assistance to 11,000 individuals during the holiday season, including more than 25,000 toys and gifts so families in need could have the Christmas they deserve and through a network of community centers, residential facilities, and volunteers, the Salvation Army is able to help reach every zip code across the greater Philadelphia region, offering a myriad of social services, including but not limited to shelter for the homeless, food for the hungry, anti-human trafficking programs, emergency disaster relief, drug and alcohol rehabilitation, early childhood development, after school arts, music, and educational programs, recreational opportunities, job training, job placement, activities for older adults, and spiritual development. The Salvation Army continually strives to be a beacon of hope for thousands of individuals and families throughout our greater Philadelphia region, enriching and transforming lives of those in the greatest need. And. Whereas on May 14, 2018, the Salvation Army Greater Philadelphia hosted its annual luncheon at the Weston Hotel Philadelphia, this year's theme being Celebrate Hope, where it recognized Unidos PAPR, along with Charmaine Matlock-Turner, President and CEO of the Urban Affairs Coalition. Unidos PAPR received the Doing the Most Good Community Leadership Award named for the distinguished men, women, or organization whose direction and compassion reflected the Salvation Army's mission and. Therefore be it resolved that the Council of the City of Philadelphia hereby recognizes, honors, and celebrates the Salvation Army for their dedicated and loyal service to the City of Philadelphia, Puerto Rico, and throughout the country, assisting those in need following hardships. Be further resolved that an engrossed copy of the resolution will be presented to the Salvation Army as evidence of our sincere respect and admiration of this legislative body. Thank you so very much. Thank you. The chair recognizes Lieutenant Colonel Banfield for remarks. Thank you to my friends here on the platform, to each of you before me. The young ladies that were here just prior to this, who were recognized for their service and their uh, ingenuity, reminded me that the Salvation Army in Philadelphia began with a 16-year-old girl who came from London, England, because she had a commitment to God and a commitment to neighbors, her neighbors. She took a boat, arrived here after a month in transit, began in a shoe factory in Philadelphia, and from there, in 1879, the Salvation Army in the United States began and now is across the country in nearly every zip code last year served 30 million Americans. And as you've already heard, it's our commitment to help those who have the most need and it's our promise to do the most good to them. We do this with your support and your help in partnership with the government officials, with community leaders, with neighbors, and as our uniform, the S's say, we are saved by God to serve neighbors. So it is our commitment to, to do the most good to the most people in the most need. It's our privilege and we thank you for this honor this day. God bless you. Councilor Bidis.